What is cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you another update of my 90 gallon filtration system. So this is a 40 gallon breather underneath the 90 gallon with a DIY sump kit. During Black Friday, I got myself an Avast Marine Calcster right there. I measured my area and it was 7 inch, got the K2 and it was perfectly like tight so it's perfect it's just on a digital timer uh, together so it will dose while it stirs but it's not uh, stirring 24 7 I know they changed the motor to 24 7 but I just uh, change it so it's only stirring when dosing uh, I have it raised on a 2 by 4s right there to kind of increase the height so that the drip will go to the filter stock system where there's a lot of turbulence, there's a lot of water flow. So I don't have to worry about any kind of buildup and precipitation. Alright. For the tubing, it's not all the way uh, on the water. It's kind of like an inch out of the water. So it does not get gunked up uh, and get blockages. You can see all that water flow and when it's dosing it just mixes instantly so yeah now as of right now uh, I just finished building this up or setting this up about a week ago I've been only dosing one minute per day and that is pretty good uh, I, I need to measure on how much one minute is because I'm only using a uh, so eBay pump so I'll show you to the, on that in a second. Alright. That's one big thing uh, I got for Black Friday. It was like $40 or $30 cheaper, which is good. And it was a DIY do-it-yourself or build-yourself kit. So instead of $300, I only got it for $160. So pretty good. Compared to the uh, other uh, cal uh, calc reactor or calcium reactor. <laughs> so yeah. Pretty simple basic filtration. Alright, so we'll go through the system here. So there's my RO, RO line, connects to the my, my water supplies, this goes to the back. Put some flashlight here, there we go. So yeah, it goes through here, goes to the very edge there, goes here. This is my ATO and this is my calc here. So it goes to these pumps right there. Uh, the one with the calc stir is the one with the check valve that came with the uh, supplied reactor. And then there's my ATO. So yeah, pretty basic <laughs> pump. So, since there's no head height, I wasn't worried about using any kind of other pump. Now for the timer, it's got some... Went to Menards, got my regular two-prong timer. Uh, it was on sale for Black Friday. I think it was like $4. Um, got myself a two-prong or three-prong uh, extender. So it just, uh, like I said, when the timer turns on, the stir and the pump turns on. So yeah, pretty simple and basic. Now, I initially got the Avast pump right there, but it was pretty loud. I was surprised, but it does push a lot of water with a lot of good head height. So maybe in the future, I'll use that too, but as of right now, I'm only using the regular pump. So let's turn it on. Let's do a test here. Click the on button. There we go. All right, there you go, it's stirring up. It's not going fast, but it stirs up pretty well. And it goes here. It does takes a second to kind of come out. There we go, it's coming out right now. Yeah, look at that, there's a little stream right there. It's pretty clear too. go 
Yeah, it mixes it, it mixes instantly on the water. Uh, I did have to cut my lid here. I used a Dremel and just cut it out. So yeah, pretty good. It's not coming out very quick because the pump is only 160 gallon per hour. Yeah, there you go. So it makes it about halfway of the body. It's very quiet. Let's go to the pump section. Can't hear anything. Very quiet. I'm gonna turn this off. Let's click the auto off. There we go, perfect. And it stops stirring. The pump is off, but uh, it will still go a little bit for a few seconds until it slows down. And I just uh, eventually stop because it is overflowing. So there is that little extra height. But it, it will stop in a few seconds. You can see it's slowing down already. So yeah, it mixes, it mixes instantly. Look at that. Perfecto. You know, I figured out something. Um, first chamber is the filter sock. This is where all most of the water will come in and get filtered. But what I figured out is the second chamber usually will fill up enough water. So I'm using that as a carbon reactor. So I just have some carbon in a bag down there. So water comes over and comes in and push the water down. So it's basically like a DIY reactor, cell or gravity reactor without any electricity cost. So yeah, I wish they would make like a taller or longer version and then have the holes just small enough so that the carbon doesn't go through because some of these holes are pretty big and the carbon definitely will go through. Then that would be a perfect cup. Yeah. It goes over there. Yeah, look at that. There's no cloud. Nothing. It's already mixed in. All right, we'll put the lid back on. Like I said, uh, I did have to cut this a few times to make sure it's not too big or not too small. It just goes in like that. There we go. Perfecto. Hmm, fits perfectly. All right. Everything's doing good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And happy reef keeping and keep your uh, reefing on a budget. Simple system. <laughs> keep it simple. Adios.